morning. Today we are going to continue our lesson that we start on Wednesday in chapter seven, lesson three, which is talking about fraction and whole number multiplication. So we're going to multiply fraction with whole number. Now, I explained for you what do I mean by multiplying fraction by a whole number, as you remember, in showing in the in the graphs here. That if I say it, I have five of two pencils, that means I have, a, like, we know that from grade three, five times two, it means we have five groups of two pencils, Yalana. So when we say it, five times two, it means five groups of something. If we say, if we say the three groups of two, we say that we have two times two times two. Here, if we have now five groups of three over eight, if we have five groups of three over eight, what does it mean? That means I multiply the three over eight how many times? Uh, five times. So it means three over eight times three over eight times three over eight times three over eight times three over eight. When we said before, five groups of three, that means we multiply the three five times. Five groups of three, that means we have one, two, three, four, five times of three. When we say five groups of three over eight, that means we have to multiply three over eight five times. Oh, uh, that I multiply, sorry, add. Yes, yeah, Gina. Oh, yeah, it's, we have to add, yeah, sorry. So five groups of three over eight, that's mean we have to say three over eight plus three over eight plus three over eight, up to five times. And I told you like three over eight, five times. So I have to graph five rectangles, as we said before. Then, then we have to shade three over eight from it. This is what do I mean by multiplication, the fraction. But shall I every time draw a graph and shade them in order to multiply? No. Let's see now an easier way how to multiply a fraction with number. Then as you see here, we have four times seven over eight. As I told you now, I explained for you what do I mean by multiplication in a graphing. But not every time I ask you to multiply the whole number with a fraction, you have to graph, you have to shade, you have to count. Now let's see now an easiest way. What we have now, let's have an easiest way. What can we do when we multiply four times seven over eight? Every time in multiplication, remember that. What we call the fraction before that. If you have three over five, where is the numerator? Yes, three. Where is the denominator? Number five. So if the three here, here's the numerator, and here is the denominator. And it's now here. If you want to multiply every time, multiply the numerator or the, this number, the whole number, with the numerator over the denominator. So four times seven, 28 over eight. So what do we have to do here? We just multiply four times seven. Now, yeah, keep it as a standing number. So only multiply four with seven, which is 28 over eight. As we said before now, I will just go to the second one first. Here, what do we have? We have five over nine times 12. What do we have to multiply? Five times 12 or nine times 12? Five times 12, the graph. So now let's multiply five times 12, which is 60 over nine. Now, if you remember the last week when I told you like, if we have big number over small, 
Can we hold it? Can I am a teacher? Can I hold the card? No. So what can I do? I need to simply. Let's see how. All of you, please now start writing focusedly. Now I will divide the greater number over eight. I mean twenty-eight over eight. Then I will go to the multiplication table of eight. We know before that one times eight is what? Eight. Two times eight. Three times eight. Four times eight. Thirty-two. Now, where is 28? Is it between 8 and 16? Or between 16 and 24? Or 24 and 32? Bravo. So it is between, it is you. Now, what is the number that's least than 28? Is it 24 or 32? 24. Now, 24 is 8 times what? 3. So you are right. Up here, what? Is it clear? Then three times eight is what? Twenty-four. Eight minus four, four. Two minus two, zero. After that, four hundred thirty-three or four hundred thirty-five. Four hundred thirty-four. Sorry. Now then, so after after here, I start write it now as a what? As a mixed number. I told you before, mixed number, it's mean number and the fraction, mixed between them. Now, how are you wrong? See. This is three, which is up the cage, okay? Write it alone. Then, the number that is written down, write it up. And the number that is written here, write it as it is. Or in other words, keep the denominators as it is. Take three up, and what is remaining? Four, five, six. So what's the answer now? Three and four over eight. Now, the next step. For what? Look at four. Now, let's look at the denominator and numerator. Four and eight. Are they simplified? How do I know? Remember that if they are two even, do you know what's the even and odd number? If the both of them are even, I can simplify it. How? By dividing by two. Okay? Sometimes if they are start with zero and five, they are divided by five. Let's go now on how to simplify it if they are even. Four is it even? Eight is it even? Yes. So did you finish writing here? Stop. Okay, so write this step here until I then I will not feel. Yes. But you have to write with me. Yeah. Sorry? Which step? How we change how we write as a mixed number okay see what we have to do here for oh, yes see first step what is the denominator here hey keep it as something then i need to write something here and something here. okay I will divide now 28 over 8. And as I told you here, what is the number that you, oh, where is 28? Is it 24 at 8? And 24 is 8 times 8. So 3 times 8 gives you what? 20. 8 minus 4, 4. So now 8 is written. I will not write. And I told you the number that is up the king, write it alone. Hello, you write three. You write eight. So what's the meaning? 
You are right. Now then. Now then, I want to simplify it more. Now you told me before that four and eight are what? Even number. And the even number is found by what? Two. So I will be down. Up and down by two. Four divided by two. Two. Eight divided by two. Four. But two and four, are they even? Yes. Can I divide them by two? Yeah. So I will divide one. If there is something, if there is a factor common between four and eight. Okay? Yeah. Yes. Now then, two divided by two is what? Four divided by two. And in the three, write it down. So three, this will be the answer of multiplying four and seven over eight. I finish writing now. Sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll just, I'll just finish off. Here we're gonna divide 60 over 9. Sorry? Then I will make it. Teacher, I don't understand. Now, 60 over 9. Hello, what do we have to do? Teacher, I don't understand. Okay, look at me now. How we will divide 60 over 9. Yalla, 9 times 1. Nine times two, times three, times four, times five, times six, times seven, times eight, times nine, eighty. I'm in sixty now. So I will see. So we say that nine times six is fifty-four. 9 times 7 is what? 63. Now, where is 60? It means. Now, 54 is 9 times what? 6. So, I will write here 6. Then, 6 times 9 is 54. Here is 10. And subtract. Here is what? 6. The way is the numerator here? And the way is the number that is up? Six. 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 And I wrote nine, six. I wrote nine. What is the left? Write it here. Can you go slow in this step? I do because I don't understand this step. Which one, Lemia? This one. The... How to divide? Yeah. yeah. You don't know how to divide? I don't know the, the part.
طب سي اي ويل اكسبلين انذر اكزامبل اوكي بليف فوكس وذ مي اند ويل اسك يو تو سولف ات وذ مي ناو ليتس كونتينيو هير سو ذن 6 اند 6 اوفر 9 طب ناو فيرست كويستشن ناو از اي ونت تو سي اف ذي سمبليفاي مور اور نو على ذا فيرست كويستشن اسك يور سيلف ار ذي ايفن نمبر اور نو نو ذي ار نوت ايفن اوكي ذا سكند كويستشن ار ذي multiples of three yes if they are multiples of three so i can simplify them so see the most common simplification they be multiples of two write them in your copy book multiples of two multiples of three multiples of five or multiples of ten these are the law the four commons multiples i will write it here The most common, the most common, they are multiples of two, multiples of three, of five, and of ten. Yes. I think. Now, what are the multiples of two? Leave numbers, two, four, six, eight, and so on. What are the multiples of three? Three, six, nine, 15. What do I mean by multiples of three? Like three times one, three times two, six, three times three, times four, and so on. Now, what are the multiples of five? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and so on. These are multiples of 10. If I say the numerator and the denominator from these two numbers, or, or from these two factors, I can divide them by five. And it says this. Yes. The multiples of 10 like what? 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on. Yes. Yes. So these are the common multiples. Multiples of two, three, five, and ten. Yeah, let's go back here. Hello, we said that six and nine. Are they multiples of two? Yeah. Multiples of three? Yeah. Yes. So let's divide them now by. Now, six divided by three. Six divided by three. Two. And nine divided by three. And six brackets. So the answer will be six and two over three. Now, look at two over the three. We can we simplify them more? No. And later on, when you talk about prime numbers, do you know the prime numbers? No. We will see that if they are, for two both of them are prime, we will see. Do you know what are the prime numbers? Yes, not one, not one. Two, three, five, seven, uh, 11, 13, like the numbers that they have only itself and one. Yes. Why they told me. Do you divide by three? Because six and nine are multiples of three. When both of the numerator and denominator multiples of three, you can divide them by three. Remember that the most common multiples two or three or five or ten. Sometimes ask yourself, can I divide it by two? No, but by three, yes. If there is no by three, go to five. So ask yourself first, can I divide it by two? If yes, don't stop. If no, go to three. If not by three, go to five, and so on. Now here.
Yes, yeah, Lamia. Lamia? Yes. Yes, Lamia. Here we have three times two over five. Three. Yes. Three. And two over five. The first step, they told you multiply the numerator by the whole number. Where is the numerator here? Two. Two. Where is the whole number? Where is the whole number? Uh, three. So you multiply three times two over what? Over five. Now then, three times two is what? Three times Six. Two. Over five. Now, as you see, greater over small. What do we have to do next? Three days five. Hello. Key five here. And the first. Then I want to fill this number and this number. Yeah, six divided by five. What's the number that I multiply by five? I get five or near five, near six, sorry. One, Brad. One times five is what? Six minus five. One. One. Now, what is the number that's up? Oh, I would write where? Alone. And the number that is right down? Right. So, how the number will be? One. One. Is it clear? Yes. Which is it? Here? This one? Here. Because six is greater than five, so five cannot hold six. So we're going to simplify it and write it as a numeric system. Teacher? Okay. That's Sorry? Okay. I like four over five. Yeah, I will bet you answer. What's your name? Malak. Okay. Oh. Let's go. What's your name? My name. Okay. I want to just Jiran uh, Malak. Matap. Are you Matap? Noor, oh, where's my tab? Zenisha, Lana, and you? Zina, and you, the last one? Sara, Sara Aziz, Sara Asad, Sara Aziz, the third six, okay. And Lurina, and you? What's your name? Good okay. And you, Korea. Why did not open the microphone, Korea? Why did not open the microphone? There? Yeah. Sometimes. Right, okay. Yeah, the second one now. Yes, yeah. Number two. Two over three times five. Yes. Bravo. Equals ten over three. Bravo. Yeah, now simplify it as a mixed number. Ten. Divide. Please write down, write down. Ten divide five. Yeah, continue. Mm 
Did you feel what? How are you feeling what? Yes, type three times one, three times two, three times three, nine. So three. Okay. Yes. Three times three equals nine. No, no, no. no. Yes. Three times three. Subtract, yeah. 10 minus 9, 1. Bravo. So now you write as a mixed number. Yeah. Wait. No. Where is the number that is written up or the quotient or the answer? Where's the answer? Then I line up with it. Look at the numbers here. What else is it? Where is what is the numerator here? So what is the one that is remaining? So it should be three and one. Thank you. That's it. The second one, yes, another. Did you finish writing number two? Yeah, no, I right. okay. Number three now, six times two over three. After Hunada Muna, I will start, I will let you answer. Nura? Okay. What's your name? And you, what's your name? Two, one. Twelve, bravo. Four. Zero. Thank you. So now it will be as if the remainder is zero, write it only as four. Thank you so much. Here is the one. Thank you so much. Now let's spend one more. Okay. Here, two over three times five equals ten over three. What is this one? Did you finish writing now? In three, it's four. Yeah, number five. Yes. Three over five times eleven. No. Bravo. Thank you so much, Mark. Number six, where's Nura? Here you Thank you so much. Yeah. Number six. Yeah. Anywhere, anywhere. She simplified by uh, six and three over five. Do you mean simplify more? Is it three and five multiples of two? No, multiples of three. Multiples of five, multiples of 10. 
and the three and five, they are prime numbers. So we cannot simplify them. So what do you have to do first? Multiply the whole number with the numerator. Where is the numerator here? Where's the fraction first? Yeah, the fraction. A fraction only, what is it? Three over four, plus. Where is the numerator? The up is the numerator. Now multiply the numerator with the whole number. Three times three. Nine, bravo, you'll write it nine. Over what? Over four, bravo. Now you then simplify them. Nine over four, yeah. What's the number that you multiply it by four, you get nine or close to nine, near nine. One times nine, four. Two times four. Eight. Not two plus four, two times four. Eight. Three times four. Eight plus four. Twelve, bravo. So three times four, twelve. Two times four, eight. Which one is nearest to nine? Eight or twelve? Eight, bravo. What is the number that you multiply it by? Four, get eight. You told me what now? Two or three? Yeah, two. So right up here, two. Then two times four is? Eight, right, get down. Then subtract, nine minus eight. Minus, minus. One, right. So I say minus, but here is one. Then how you write it here? And then you say that, here is two. It's two, two. Now then, the second step. Here, keep a four as it is. Now, where is the number that is written up? Two or one? That's up, up. Two or one? Two. Write it alone here. Here, here. No, no, no. It's here, right along here. Then you wrote two, you wrote four. What is the remaining? You move your head in order to see. Yeah, you wrote two, you wrote four. What is the, what's the remaining? Add it up. That's it. Yes, Hanin. Hanin, Hanin. Yes, Hanin. Yeah. Five over eight times three. I'll let you okay. Five over seven times four. Bravo. Top C, go, go. Yes, just a minute, honey. Okay. Top, did you finish writing? Oh, okay. Honey, now I want you to explain to Diane how did you solve number? Okay. Yeah. Just a minute. Yes. Right from here. I start starting from here. Yeah. Five over seven. There you go. Times four. And the first look here, Diane, here, because you was in bathroom. You were in bathroom, sorry. Now, first, where is the numerator here? Five or seven? No. Five. You have to multiply the numerator five with four. Yes, you can continue. Five times four is what? 20 over what? This is the first step. Then, what do you have to do next, honey? Divide here, please. Here, here, here. here. Yes. Now, we'll divide.
Okay, now. So, hello, you will solve number four. Okay, be careful, get back. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? عافيك سارة يس يا سارة صار عافيك بس شوي نقدر نستوعب صراحة أنا أضعك الآن سوري لميا أنا والدة لميا ركزي آه. نهائيا لأنه من كثر ما تتحرك الشاشة اي بس شوي بس اوكي ناو كونتينيو يلا 20 ديفايد باي وات سو ناو هني ويل ديفايد 20 اوفر وات 10 يس هاي كونتينيو برافو 2 تايمز 7 از 14 The remainder is what? Four or six? Wait, wait. You know what? Here, 14. Then 20 minus 14 is? Here is 10. You have to subtract from them 10. 10 minus 4. So the remainder is six. Now, how do we write as a mixed number? Bravo, thank you so much. You wrote two and six over seven. Yes. Number four. 